What's your name? Darcy Oak. Darcy, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Are you living in the UK or you? I'm not. No, been... I came here just for this. So. How old are you, Darcy? I'm 26. And what got you into the act that you're doing today? When I was a kid, actually, I had hopes and dreams of becoming a doctor, but my parents insisted that I become a magician. So <laughs> here I am. <laughs> My name is Darcy Oak, I'm 26, and I specialize in sleight of hand and illusions. I've loved magic for forever. When I was a kid, my dad was messing around with cards, I pick one, he pulled it out, and it was my card. I experienced that feeling of like, how did you do that? And I wanted to do that to other people. Now, say the magic words. Abracadabra. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I'm auditioning for Britain's Got Talent because it's the biggest talent show in the world and I want to be performing on a global scale. And I feel that if it goes well, it can change my life. I'm going to go out on that stage and I'm going to do what I've practiced my whole life and hopefully they like it. All right, wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. My name is Jamie Raven. Hello, Jamie Raven. Hello. How old are you? I am 31. And where are you from? Uh, originally from Hammersmith, but I now live... Uh, big up. I now live in uh, Ascot <laughs> uh, with my, my wife. Can I ask you what you're doing today? I'm a magician. <laughs> my earliest memory of watching magic was probably about 10 or 11. Uh, we were on a uh, family holiday and we were out in a restaurant and I had a magician who came over and he did his, his act. I thought it was amazing. That was it, and it would spark something that, you know, 20 years later would bring me here today. I live at home uh, with my wife, Ashley. She's the best thing that, that ever happened to me, and everything I do, everything is for her. When we first met, we were at the bar, and I said, oh, I'll, I'll get you a drink, and she had a £5 note, so I folded it up and changed it into a, a £50 note and paid for it, and it was all the money I had in the world. That was one thing that, that won her over, the prospect of yeah, 50 pound notes. Little did she know that that was the only one that she'd see for the next eight years. Over the years, I've performed in pubs, I've done clubs, I've done the darkest rooms, the loudest rooms. You know, it's, it is a slog. I just want them to see the decades, basically, of, of practice and what I know I can do. So I just, I'm excited and, and nervous in myself. I want to do the best that I can do. Today it could change everything. To actually do the raw variety as a performer, you made it. 
Okay. Good luck. Come on, mate. May I come and join you at your table? Would that be okay? I'd like to share with you a trick. It uses uh, a 50 pound note, one of the largest currency notes available in this country. With my sleeves rolled up, guys, with nothing in my hands, we can get a shot of this on the screen. I'm going to change this 50 pound note into the much rarer, infinitely more valuable bank of Britain's Got Talent 50 pound note. No way. Now you can see we've got, we've got our head of state, Mr. Simon Cow. We've got our beautiful princesses, of course, our queen. Uh, so, <laughs> for you to keep, don't spend it all at once. Guys, I don't want you to feel left out. So I brought along some more cash for you. But I know, I know deep down, you don't really want one of these. You'd much rather have one of those bank of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> one for each of you to keep. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. What? Thought I'd finish with a trick using a picture that I've drawn. Um, it's a self-portrait. That's me. This is where we are. Britain's Got Talent. You see, most magicians at this point would ask one of you to reach in and take a card. I'm not going to do that. Instead, if I may, I'm just going to ask each of you one question. David, if I may start with you. So if I could ask you to choose a colour, red or black, whatever you say is what we will use. What colour would you like? Black. Black. Alicia, the black cards are split into two suits. We have uh, the spades, we have the clubs. Again, if I could ask you to choose, whatever you want is what we will use. Clubs. Clubs, fantastic. Amanda, I need you to choose a value for me. What would you like? Nine. Nine. The nine of clubs. Simon, you're the boss. I'm going to give you the chance, if you like, to stick with the nine of clubs, or you can overrule all of the other judges, and you can choose <laughs> any other card that you like. What would you like? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. OK. Guys, there is no way I could know that you would choose the Nine of Clubs. There's no way I would know if you would overall, and if you would, what you would change to. You'll agree I haven't touched these. What I didn't tell you is that I've also drawn on the back of every single other card in this deck. Do you remember those cartoon flip books where you flick through and the little man comes to life? Check this out. You see our magician. He takes off his hat. He reaches inside. He pulls out just one card, ladies and gentlemen, not just any card, it's the Seven of Hearts. I know this sounds crazy, but I now actually believe in magic. <laughs> I do. Like some people believe in ghosts, I now believe in magic, because there is no explanation for that. None whatsoever. Alicia? Oh, my goodness. Honestly, that is going to bug us for the rest of the day, how you did that. <laughs> you are incredible. I feel like we are witnessing the beginning of something special with you. Bless you. David? I mean, that is a world-class trick. That's one of the best magic books I've ever seen. And it's not a trick. It's real magic. Yeah. He has magical powers. Somebody once said to me, who I really respect, that there are a lot of people who do tricks and there are a few people who actually can do magic. And I think we just saw that. Could you make Simon disappear? <laughs> We're going to take a vote. David? Of course, yes! <laughs> it's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. You've got four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> I now believe. Come on. <laughs> well, done. well done, Paul. How was that? Well, it was amazing. Best yes. trick I've seen. Oh, yeah, I've got four yeses. I nearly cried, it was unbelievable. Uh, yeah, you okay? Yeah, it's great, I'm just so happy. I am 16 years old and I love magic. I'm a little bit of a loner and it's always been really difficult for me to connect with people my own age. As all my friends were out, I like partying or whatever they were doing, I was sitting in my room reading all the books and just learning as much as I possibly could and then I'd go out and try it out on people. Did you feel that? Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> oh my world, okay. <laughs> I, I could just go anywhere and people are like, oh my gosh, you're a magician, that's so awesome. That's what really I was like, oh, there, might, there might be something to this.
Hello. So I've got, uh, I've got some snack a lackage right there. And now to do this, I need to borrow a dollar bill. So does someone have? No. I didn't, I didn't say it was free. I didn't say it was free. Oh, how we got one. Okay, awesome. Go. Great. Thank you. Everyone here has a unique fingerprint, which basically means that out of all the 7 billion people in the world, you are the only person with that fingerprint. Same thing with the bill, only the serial number acts as the bill's fingerprint. So to do this, actually, uh, Howard, I would love you, for you to help me out with this. Uh, what I want no. you to do is... I, I hate you... helping. You hate? Yeah, but I'll do it. I'll make, I'll make this easy for you. I want you to just read off that serial number for us. All right, here we go. L-0-8-7-3-0-1-1-1. M as in Mary. All right, awesome. Here we go. Great, thank you. And now, uh, now, Melby, just take that bag for me. Yeah, and just, uh, just grab it by the bottom. Just hold it above your head. Now, what I'm about to do, most people say this is absolutely impossible. I'm going to get this bill to actually teleport from my hand to that bag. Now, to do this, I actually need to use the power of fire. That's why you take this sealed bag of popcorn and just tear it open. Now open it up. You see something inside the bag? Yes! No. Yeah, show, show it to Howard. Show it to Howard. You see something inside. Pull it out and actually, yeah. Heidi, what I'd love for you to do is just please read off the serial number on that bill. Let's see if it matches Howie's. Wow. L, L zero, zero eight, eight seven seven three zero zero four four three, three, three two, two M as in M. magic. Wow. Well, come on, make some noise. I have no idea how he did that. Great. That was really good. How do you do that? How do you do that? All right. You know, when I, when I judge an act, I t put a lot of credibility into what this crowd feels and how they react. And that reaction was genuine. You had people up on their feet. Your trick was flawless. You're getting emotional, aren't you? Yeah, this, is, this really this means so much to me. Yeah. Good for you. You weren't, re you weren't expecting that? No, not at all. Have you suffered a lot of rejection with your act? Yeah. A lot, yeah. Today, you proved something. You got the goods. You've got charisma. You know how to handle yourself. For 16 years old, it's quite remarkable. Thank Good you. for you. I loved it. Thank you so much, Howard. I liked it. I want to see more. I love that you bring snacks. <laughs> I liked you. Thank you so much. Mel? I don't know how you did it, and I want to see you do more stuff. You, my friend, are great. Thank you. Howie. Here's what's uh, amazing to me. I believe at 16 years old, you have just stepped, sir, into your future. Thank you. Okay. All right. So here we go. Yes for me. It's a yes. It's a yes. Yes. We are going to see you in Las Vegas. Hello. Hello there. What's your name? James Moore. How old are you, James? I'm 24. Is this what you do full time or do you have a day job? This is now full time for me. I've been doing it. It's a bit of magic since I was eight. Simon loves magic. I know how much he loves it. I do like magic when it's good. Okay. Okay. Best of luck. <laughs>